Well, Darren, we'll speak about the game in a moment, but quite an evening to welcome the fans back. So good to have them back, isn't it? Really, I know we just spoke about it. It was so emotional when I come out and they all clapped, and I was I was proper, and you know, that got me, and um, that was amazing. You know, really amazing because. Um, they're, they're, listen, they're the winner tonight. I can't believe how good that was to have them back. To have, you know, some unbelievable supporters at Yeovil. Brilliant, really sort of like heartfelt people. And um, yeah, like I said, it was, it was a couple of times. And in four minutes, when everyone claps, I thought, oh no, here we go again. The old Adam's apple started coming up and forward. And but yeah, no emotional night. I'm not an emotion, you know. I, I think we all know this. I'm not like the cuddly sort of <laughs> teddy bear type, <laughs> but you know, that, uh, it did get me. It was so great to have them back. And I've got to tell you, you know, and I, and I really mean this. That's that's probably the first game I've enjoyed since Lee passed. So, you know, that was huge for us, huge. And as you say, the players and the fans took part in that applause at four minutes. It yeah. was quite a moment, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I had to, I had to kind of, ch and I looked at the clock, I thought, okay, I'm, I'm with it now, I've, I've got it, and then I saw Dagnall with his hands in the air and clapping as he's defending a goal kick or something, but the Dagnall would do, um, but um, yeah, it was a wonderful, you know, we've got to pay tribute to Lee over the long term, it, it's, this, this won't, not for us, it won't be a, um, it won't be a sort of a fly-by feeling, you know, we've got pictures of him up everywhere, we don't want to forget Lee and his courage and all the great things about him so you know we want to make sure we do we keep him because he epitomized um the turnaround at yeovil um and yeah i th you know i think that's, that was a wonderful thing for the supporters to do and i loved it that the players were clapping even though they were running around and clapping as they were running around. brilliant it was and a word on the game your, your side played very well created a lot of chances hit the bar twice and thought you'd taken the lead and then luke wilkinson get sent off it was quite a frantic few minutes how did you see that all playing out um it's amazing i know we've all moaned and used to not having supporters as an excuse but that's the best we played all season no doubt in my mind the passing our technical ability improved our awareness improved our focus improved our attention to things improved and by the way you know we're going in vain their credit because we've played them uh, three times now before tonight we've lost both games so um you know tonight was 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 a good uh, point especially you know with lou getting sent off but I, I don't understand the referees just said to me word for word i quote if that was anywhere else on the pitch i can't book him for deliberate handball now i don't understand that so, uh, and I think that one of their players did one that looked deliberate, didn't it? In the middle, in the middle, right on the halfway line, definitely in the middle third. Nothing happened. So I'm a little bit confused by that, but um, I don't, want to, uh, I don't want to talk about it too much, but because it, it, it spoils what was a, you know, a really great, great evening. Um, you know, I think I think Lou was a bit silly though. You know, he's just got, he's just had a slap wrist, so. Um, you know, we've got to be better at that. And teams that go up don't get sent off for the things that he got sent off for. They don't do that. And that availability of Luke Wilkinson, how much better are we with Luke Wilkinson? <clears throat> and the only people that suffer now is his is, is teammates and the manager because we, we haven't got arguably our best player to be able to use on Saturday. So, you know, I'm disappointed in that, but I don't want to take away from uh, the courage and work ethic um, that the players played with tonight. I mean, Lawson and Dagnall, they just defy all logic. They are, Lawson was, was incredible again. What about the tackle at the end? Brilliant. So, you know, I thought we showed a really great effort, really great application, and we should have won the game. I mean, imagine if Charlie's volley would have gone in. I mean, my life, we'd never have had the end of it, but what a goal that would have been. And as you say, with the 10 men, you created the chances still and, and definitely could have got the three points. And how nice was it for the fans to see some of the players they haven't seen before? It was a yeah. really nice moment when Josh Nerfield got to have the applause when he went Absolutely. off. Absolutely. And, and, and I thought that lifted the performance. You know, I, I thought I played them the video yesterday of our, when we win games, the song that they do. Uh, you know, in the Thatcher's end when we're here and obviously away, uh, I showed them the, the game away at Solly Hall when Scott took the club over. Uh, and the older shot, which were particular standouts, and I showed them. And I said, "This is a really, you know, this is a, they'll get behind you if you give your all, if you give everything you got. They'll really get behind you. And when we win, we'll have this most wonderful connecting moment 
where we all get a little bit closer to each other and you're not a footballer and have the greatest job in the world and they're not a baker or an electrician or a plumber. It, we're just people that care deeply about our football club. Um, and uh, I was desperate to have that tonight. I thought we had enough chances to win two, two or three games. Um, like I said, if Charlie's volley goes in, I think that goes. In, I think that must be up there. Would have been with the uh, best goals at Hewish Park. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, you've got one more game here this season. You must be really excited to to welcome them back for the last game of the season as well. Yeah, I mean, it won't get any easier. We're hoping to. Um, we're hoping if tonight's been a success. Um, we can have fans back in for that last game and you know we'd love to do something for Lee uh, on that last game with his family so uh, as many people that can show their support um, on that last game would be would be unbelievable for his family and especially his daughters who are football mad and are desperate to to walk down the tunnel with some of the players and uh, a few still injured players Jimmy Smith missed out Reese Murphy missed out are you welcoming any of them back ahead of Altrincham on um, Saturday no, I don't think so. I think um, <clears throat> obviously we'll lose Lou, um, which is a big, big miss for us. Um, who will be back? Will anyone? No, I don't think so. Um, Bradley serving his last game as well. Worthington may be the closest one um, to might be coming back. So that would be nice to have Matthew back. Um, and then obviously for I think for Stockport, I think everyone will be available. Shock. Um, <laughs> last game, um, but uh, oh, that was that was brilliant tonight. Uh, that's, like I said, that is, that's the first time I've had joy. Um, yeah, really enjoyed my job tonight. I really, and, and if the lads would have won my life, I think I'd have been doing a Klinsman in that goal area at the end. I'd have been <laughs> flying. I'd have been running in there. But yeah, it wasn't to be. But they tried. Oh, I thought it was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, congratulations and thank you for your time, Darren. Thank you.